Okay, so instead of a story from the sofa, let's do a story from the clinic instead. Um, so this time what I'm going to do is share a story about a gentleman that I saw oh, a number of years ago now when I think about it. Um, we were doing a screening at Appleby Fair and this poor chappy, I, I, to be honest, I don't know how he managed to get to the stall. So obviously we're in the middle of a field. It probably took him an hour to get to us because he was uh, using two crutches after having two um, back surgeries. And the, he had still got the staples in his back from the second surgery that he's, he'd had. Now this guy was suffering from low back pain and sciatica. So he had low back pain and severe leg pain and, and he really was in a massive, massive amount of pain. He was on morphine, he was on the full works basically to try and control his pain and really he wasn't getting anywhere with it. But obviously his biggest frustration was the fact that he had gone through two uh, back surgeries and he his symptoms had not changed. They did not change. So after the first surgery, the um, surgeon said, oh, we must have left some debris in there. Um, I don't know what debris they, they thought that they'd left in there, but, but they said, okay, so we're gonna have to go in again. So they went in a second time um, and did whatever they did. But like I say, he had no change in his symptoms from having two back surgeries. So um, he, he didn't want me to touch him when, he, when I met him at the uh, uh, fair. Um, he just wanted advice at that point in time. So we arranged for him to come into the practice for us to examine him in a, a more formal and a, a setting that was more appropriate for his level of pain and all that kind of thing. Um, and when I assessed him, his pelvic a pelvis was so imbalanced it was causing huge amount of strain and rotation forces through his disc so um, we offered a course of care in order to relieve to correct that uh, and hopefully relieve his symptoms um, the transformation was phenomenal. I mean, within the space of a couple of weeks, this guy was completely, completely out of pain. Legs were completely balanced again. Um, it, it was a, a massive transformation. And so it's, it, it was a, an example where somebody potentially didn't need back surgery, but obviously at that point in time, he didn't think about an alternative course of treatment. Um, so obviously we were thrilled to be able to help this guy and um, he uh, did amazingly well with the treatment. So, so obviously from that perspective, everything was brilliant. But um, it's just for people that are unsure about whether chiropractic is right for them or you've had surgery and you're nervous and apprehensive about having treatment. I mean, obviously the treatment that I used on this guy was really, really gentle in fact. Here you go, I can grab one from here now, hang on. So, bear with me while I try and ah, get this out of its little wallet. Um, so I used activator, so that's this little instrument here, okay. And what it does, it just applies a little impulse. So if I pull it, you can see it. It's really not very much. I mean, that's on its lowest setting. That's the setting that we use for babies. Um, but it's phenomenally uh, gentle. It, it's uh, more about how specific it is and it's about the um, neurological stimulation rather than brute force through the joints. Um, so from a, because it's altering the neurology, it affects the way that your body reacts and responds. So it's a really, really gentle treatment. So for anybody who is nervous about whether chiropractic or osteopathy is appropriate for them, don't worry, we modify the treatment according to what you present with, um, so that number one, obviously we wanna keep you as comfortable as possible, but we're also gonna make it as safe as possible for you as well. Anyway, so that's my story from the clinic, um, like I say, with all of my equipment today. But um, I just thought I'd share that one because of the fact that I know that some people that have had surgery do get apprehensive and nervous about consulting somebody different. Anyway, that's me for, for, for today. Um